Hi, welcome to today's review. Um, I want to talk to you a little bit about some of my favourite wax bars today. Um, I've been busy making samples, so actually all the clamshells are empty, um, but they absolutely hold the fragrance perfectly um, of all the waxes that have been in there. So I thought, well, before I throw the packets on to um, recycling, I thought, you know what, we'll do a little bit of a sit and sniff. So. I'm going to tell you what the wax bar is, I'm going to read you the scent description, I'm going to have a little sniff and I'm going to tell you what I think of it and, and how and when I would use it. So the first one is Let's Escape, I, I mean I just love the name, Let's Escape, it's kind of that autumnal, let's go out for the day, let's get out of the house, let's escape, let's go find something, let's have an adventure, that's what that kind of reads to me. So in our catalogue, you'll see that every wax bar has a description and the same if you go onto my website. So Let's Escape is exotic saffron, sugared orchid and warm amber wood transport you to far away lands. Oh gosh, that's, that just sounds lush, doesn't it? And it does. I'm gonna get a red nose because I'm gonna touch everything. It's definitely autumnal. It's got the amber wood, you can really kind of, it's like the grounding note. It's really kind of deep. Um, it's got that exotic, deep, like a faraway land, almost like you're going to um, a real kind of, like a Moroccan bazaar, you know, something really, really far away, full of different spices. This one's got saffron in it. It's got sugared orchid, so it's got sweet, a sweet floral kick to it that just marries everything up together. Me personally, 100% autumn and probably one that I would more than likely use in my lounge, somewhere that I was going to actually sit down, relax, chill out, watch a film, read a book, listen to music. Um, it's got that kind of evening, that exotic deep evening kind of fragrance but absolutely perfect to warm any time of the day it's personal preference so i love that one okay the next one i'm going to tell you a little bit about is spice cake now this one reminds me for those of you that are watching this that have shopped scentsy for years okay <laughs> can you remember we had a bar um way back when I started 2016 and it'd been around a while then called um oh gosh what was it called festive spice and to me it was a really heavy very deep very Christmassy spicy wax bar really really nice um you couldn't miss it it's not subtle it's kind of literally hello christmas hello winter um this spice cake reminds me of that old wax bar so if you loved um festive spice years ago when it was available then this you will love okay so spice cake let me just read you out of the description it says a heavenly slice of spice cake oh that just sounds yummy. Baked with cinnamon and ginger because there's always room for dessert. So I'm going to guess it's quite sweet. Oh, I just, it, oh, yeah. Oh, it's love. It does really remind me of Festive Spice. Um, it reminds me many, many years ago, I worked in a coffee shop, a little independent boutique coffee shop. And we used to get all the cakes in on a Saturday morning, all the cinnamon buns, um, all the almond slices, and all that kind of stuff. And then over Christmas, we'd get all the Christmassy, the gingerbreads, all that kind. And it just takes me back to 15, 16 year old me um, working there. It was, a, uh, it was a coffee shop and um, they did lots of like cakes and sandwiches. Um, absolutely gorgeous if you love foodie scents and you love christmas and you remember festive spice 100 percent, you're gonna love that okay this one is really really popular we've had this a few years and every single year i am inundated with people saying can you order me some of that can you order me some of that apple and cinnamon sticks i mean you cannot can't get any more autumnal can you um apple peel spiced 
white pumpkin with a touch of oak so you've got the apple the peel of the apple which always in a sense smells different to the actual inside part of the apple um white pumpkin i have never smelled but if i think about pumpkin um i can kind of go there in that kind of what's that gonna smell like and a touch of oak is that woody is the depth is the um it's what kind of gives it its core fragrance it's base notes so apple and cinnamon sticks let's have a little smell Oh, it's just, it, again, it is just autumn. It's, it's autumn, it's Halloween, it's harvest, it's um, definitely more of a, to me, more of a, like a, an evening fragrance. Uh, but if you've got a really funky kitchen and a kitchen diner, and you're somebody that spends a lot of time in there, oh, this, this is just going to be gorgeous in there. And it, it does, it has that, again, that element of taking me back to all the cakes coming in, you know, apple turnovers, cinnamon swirls, um, Chelsea buns. Can you remember Chelsea buns? Oh, yes. Love it. Love it. I'm going to get wax all over my nose. Okay. The next one is Blackberry Sandalwood. Now, let me just find this one because... This one I actually really, really like and I have actually used myself. Um, it's Dark Plum, Blackberry, Wild Rhubarb, stirred with sandalwood, showcasing Earth's richest offerings. Sandalwood is like such a popular ingredient in fragrance. It's kind of, to me, it's like the anchor. It's the base note, it's the deep, it's the woody, it's the um, full fullness of the fragrance um so for me most things with sandalwood I'm, I'm absolutely there i love it but what i love with this is the wild rhubarb because rhubarb can be quite sharp um and also the blackberry blackberries can be really sweet but they can also be really sharp so i love the fact that this this scent is kind of contrasting conflicting but also perfectly blending and creating a really really lovely fragrance and i love this one anyway so i'm all for this one yeah this smells to me <laughs> you're gonna think i'm food obsessed today this to me is a little bit like um a sunday afternoon in autumn it's a bit chilly We've had a bit of sun, it's gone a bit dark, maybe it's about half past four in the afternoon and you've had your dinner and you have a, um, a, like a, like a pastry dessert, like a cooked pastry dessert and it's got all the different fruits of the forest in. Um, it's got blackberries and black currants and red currants, um, apples, that kind of thing. This to me is that kind of real autumnal dessert without the custard without the ice cream it's it's not overly sweet but it's definitely autumnal it's definitely got that hint of fruit in there um and it's also got the hint of food because obviously blackberries and um, rhubarb is food so it's it's that really nice mix of fruity foody autumnal um it's sharp and bright enough as a fragrance i think that you could have it in your warmer all day long anywhere in the home um i don't i wouldn't put this in the pocket of like only warming this in the evening or only warming this in the daytime this is one that literally would probably carry through daytime to evening quite nicely uh without thinking oh it's a bit it's a bit too much for the evening but it's been great in the day i think it would actually filter through the whole of your day and you'd enjoy it as much in the day as you would in the evening so love that one okay so the next one is blue sage and tonka um okay so revel in the richness of midnight sage and black lavender over the sultry sweetness of tonka bean now i love sage i love a bit of stuffing with my chicken on a sunday <laughs> I'm going back to food. Um, so sage to me is, it's got that really earthy, herby 
fragrance. It's that, to me, it's that natural earthy goodness, okay? Um, I also love lavender. Now, I've never actually smelt black lavender, but if I go on the premise I love lavender, um, I love lavender in the fact that it's quite a relaxing fragrance. It's synonymous with that. But also it can be quite invigorating if you mix it with other fragrances, like, for example, lemon and lavender is really quite uplifting. Um, so that those really appeal to me. And then the tonka bean, the sweetness of the tonka bean, I would say would bring in, would marry the, the floral lavender with the um, herby, earthy sage. That sweetness would just bring it all together. So you, you're probably going to get like a fresh, sweet, herby fragrance. Obviously, I have smelt this before um, and I've just been making samples, so I know what it smells like. It's to me, it's like um, a little bit, almost like a little bit of a nod to like a spa kind of fragrance. Anyway, let's have a sniff. Yeah, <laughs> absolutely. So this to me is walking into a old stately home that's been converted into a spa. And you're walking into the, through like um, old sandstone uh, sort of entrance into a really old but very modern contemporary like reception. And you're about to embark on your spa experience. That could be a few hours lying down on the um, sun lounge by the, by the pool. It could be that you're going off for a massage. It could be that you're going to go into another place and do some meditation or some yoga. Um, it could be that you're going to go and have some really healthy lunch. Um, that kind of environment. That's what this reminds me of. So this would be an anytime fragrance that you could have anywhere in your home. And I think it would give you that kind of sense of chill out relax but also be uplifted if that makes sense i love that i love that anytime anywhere anywhere in your home fragrance okay this one is lovely velvet moon let me just find so i love this one because it's got vanilla in it and funnily enough i am not majorly a vanilla type of person but when vanilla is in something it gives this that gives the fragrance a real rich, warm, velvety kind of base to it. Again, it's like the base to the fragrance. So this is soft vanilla, white musk. I love musk. I love musk. Uh, glow behind a silky layer of foggy mist. Um, oh, just sounds gorgeous, doesn't it? Um, so the vanilla. Um, the vanilla flower that's in here is going to have that. It's not going to be a sickly sweet, heavy vanilla because it's the flower. So when you get the flower of something, it's a more of a delicate floral nod to the vanilla rather than a real heavy, sickly sweet. Then you've got the white musk. Now, musk is very anchoring. It's very warm and sultry and evocative of like emotion. So musk is just gorgeous um, and then if you think about the foggy mist that fresh air on a cold winter's night um, and you start to get it a bit of fogginess coming up um, but it's almost like that freshness that kind of um, damp air and that wintry kind of sense um, all of that coming, that coolness, that fresh coolness part of it. So if you kind of bring them all together, you've got the musk, you've got the, the uh, which is deep, you've got the vanilla flower, which is sweet but floral, and then you've got that freshness from the um, foggy mist. Just gorgeous, just gorgeous. So let's have a smell. Yeah. Oh, it's nice. Now this one. I would have on um, probably all day. This would be one that could, again, take you through. In the morning, it would probably feel, if you had this on, quite uplifting, quite invigorating. It's got everything that I've talked about, but, but the freshness would really come through. Um, in the evening, it would become a bit more sultry. 
um, a little bit more kind of a romantic, like you're looking up at the sky and you're looking at a gorgeous moon and the mist is kind of coming around and you're all cosy and you're warm and you're inside. That kind of romantic vision of like an autumn winter's evening, that kind of thing. Oh, I love it. I love it. I love it. So hopefully you love all those too. Um, if you want to have a little bit more of a, a look at those fragrances, just pop over to my website, www.hollingdales.scentsy.co.uk. Go to the tab that says warmers and wax and have a little look through all the waxes. If you look at the waxes and you like the sound of one of them, if you actually click on it, it will take you to another page and then on that page it will have all the ingredients like I've just explained to you and you can decide if it actually sounds nice to you if you're interested or what have you um, and then obviously you can just order directly off my website or if you want to contact me directly um, on that website is actually a contact me tab um, if you scroll all the way down to the bottom of the website page you'll find it then you can contact me directly and I will help you uh, place your order or, or give you any answers to any questions that you've got alternatively you can pop over to my Facebook page Hollingdale's Home Sense um, you can have a little look on there you can interact with me you can see what I'm up to you can message me through that page as well so either way you can reach out and I'll happily help you so hopefully you've enjoyed these six and I will come on again soon and do another six bar review take care